everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa. I share videos on thrifting, home decor, and homemaking, and I'm really glad that you're here with me today. Um, I've been a blogger for 22 years, I think, I'm going on 23, and um, I absolutely love talking about homemaking. So today, in today's video, I'm going to be decorating my living room um, for Christmas. It is, we're a week out from Thanksgiving. So um, it took me about this long to kind of recover from all of the cooking and baking and festivities of the holiday week um, with my family here. In today's video, I'm going to be decorating, uh, I think my living room, maybe the foyer. Um, we'll see what I get to. It's nighttime. Um, it's about almost seven o'clock in the evening and um, I've been out all day. So um, I'm excited to get started with the decorating. Okay, so we've been in this house for 20 years now, over 20 years now. And um, I've been collecting, you know, every year I collect a little bit more. I do have quite a bit. I like to shop vintage. I like to shop um, in thrift stores for Christmas decor, as well as, you know, sometimes I'll buy new stuff too. But um, overall, I really like for my, my home in general to look collected and curated over time. I don't want to just walk into Home Goods or Hobby Lobby and buy a bunch of new stuff that's mass produced. Not that you can't put together a great look from Home Goods or Hobby Lobby, um, but for me personally, I just find a lot of joy in putting together different collections of things. Um, you know, I have like my little snowman collection. I have a gingerbread collection. I'm actually really hoping to, to really add to my gingerbread collection this year. I'm hoping to start a vintage deer collection. Um, I've been seeing uh, Michael from Inspired Charm has really inspired me to collect little vintage reindeer and um, I don't have any yet. In fact, I when I went to the antique store this week, I was really, really hoping to find some. So um, I had no luck. I am definitely going to be looking for them this season though. Yeah, so I'm really excited to get started decorating. Hopefully this goes well. Hey Marlo, are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? He, he said, good girl. Okay, so I don't know if you can see um, this from there. I'll show you up close of it in just a minute, but instead of using command hooks or like stocking hangers that you can purchase, I actually have five eye hooks that I leave up year round. And I generally have something hanging on my mantle um, for the season. So like I took down the blackbirds that I usually have up for fall. And I'm going to hang my children's stockings. I have, I have their stockings that I hang up every year in the same place. They are these needlepoint. I have a collection of needlepoint stockings. The reason I have needlepoint um, is because my mother used to do needlepoint. And unlike my mom, I'm not very patient or good at sticking with that kind of thing. But for my brother and I, she made us needlepoint stockings that had our names on them, Melissa and Sam, that she still hangs up on her mantle every year. And um, because I am very sentimental, I wanted to also have needlepoint stockings. So when my son was born, um, I purchased one for him. And then as my children were born, they each got their own stocking and we've been using, so this stocking, my son is, he's almost 33 years old now. So um, this is very vintage. It is. I've had it since his very first Christmas and I absolutely love it. It has a Noah's Ark pattern. This makes me so happy when I pull these out every year. Okay, and then I have this beautiful glass ornament garland. Um, I actually purchased this at the Christmas store in Gatlinburg, Tennessee a number of years ago. I really love these ornaments. Okay, and then I have this um, toll 
painted angel and I found her in a thrift store I want to say last year uh, maybe two years ago and um, again she reminds me of my childhood my mother used to do toll painting I was very 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 happy to find her okay and then finally for my mantle you can see that you know I have left some of the things up that I I actually keep most of this up here year-round um, I have these two Christmas trees that I bought at Kohl's a few years ago
number of years ago, my mom made this little quilt for me. Usually at Christmas time, I bring it out and drape it over a chair. And I absolutely love it. So I have done most of the decorating I'm going to do in the living room. I'm not quite done. So this table over here, my new drop leaf table that I had the Anne of Green Gables vignette on. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with that yet. I might put some of my Christmas village here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it some thought. I still need to decorate the tree with ornaments, but I'm gonna stop for tonight. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you a kind of walkthrough of the changes I made.
be sure to comment down below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I really appreciate you watching and um, I will see you in the next video.